Hey guys, Mr. McKinney here just going through the information that I'll be presenting at Open House tonight in case you can't make it or even if you are coming and you just want to get a heads up on what we'll be talking about. Um, I teach AP Calculus AB and On Level Calculus this year. So we'll start out with a little bit about myself. My name is Travis McKinney. Um, I'm a dad, so my son Enzo attends Caldwell Heights Elementary. He'll be in second grade this year. I love sports, uh, both playing and watching. I've played and coached soccer for a lot of my life, um, and I love fantasy football, so I'll be watching the NFL pretty avidly this year. I was born in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and lived there for the first 10 years of my life, and then I moved to Texas. I've, been, I've lived in Colorado, Arizona, and Texas over the course of my life. As far as my education, I went to UT Austin and double majored in electrical engineering and psychology for my undergrad. And then I realized that I wanted to go into teaching. So I joined Teach for America and was placed in the Phoenix region. Um, I obtained my master's in secondary education during my first two years of teaching in Phoenix. Um, and then I moved to the Austin area about nine years ago. Um, and I've been at Round Rock the entire time. So this will be my ninth year here my 15th year of teaching overall. And I have experience teaching pretty much every math class and I taught physics when I was in Arizona. I am very available for tutorials. Um, I have 10 sessions every week. So every single day before school, I offer tutorials and every single day during D lunch, I offer tutorials. I don't regularly offer after school tutorials uh, for a couple of reasons. One of them is a lot of my students have last period off, so D lunch turns into after school tutorials for them. Um, the other thing is I'm divorced and I have my son every other week. So on the weeks that I have him, I like to leave as, school, as soon as the school day is over to go pick him up. On a week that I don't have him, I could set up an after school appointment if nothing else works. But I hope that most of my students can make something work during the 10 options that I have five days a week before school and five days a week during D lunch. My philosophy on teaching is focused more on helping kids be successful no matter what field they're in, rather than getting bogged down on the intricacies of content. Um, so I want my students to focus on these five things and I've talked to them a lot about it. Um, they will learn calculus along the way but many of them will end up forgetting that calculus, so I want them to learn skills that will help them be successful no matter what path they end up taking. As far as grades go, um, for AP, it'll be 60% tests, 30% quizzes, and 10% homework. The tests, we usually have two tests per marking period, and each test has two parts, a calculator and a non-calculator portion. So there will be four test grades worth 15% each in most of the marking periods. Quizzes, we have about one quiz per week. Um, so on average, we'll have about six quizzes or so in a marking period. Um, together, those will be worth 30%. And then homework, there's a homework assignment pretty much every day. Most of them are electronic using the Math Excel system. If they're paper, then they will be completion grades. Um, and the electronic math Excel assignments have unlimited attempts. So if you're willing to put in the effort and come get help when you need it, you can have a 100% homework average because the homeworks are either completion grades or if they're graded for accuracy, you have unlimited attempts to get them correct. So if you're willing to put in the effort, you can have 100% as your homework category. For on level, um, we'll be using a lot of the same math Excel assignments, um, but the percentages are going to shift a little bit. So tests go down to being just 50% and homework goes up to 20%. Um, pretty much everything else will be the same as it was for AP. I, utilize, I utilize the flipped classroom model. Um, this will be my second year fully embracing the model and it worked extremely well last year. So I'm going to continue to use it. The idea is that students will watch videos on content before they show up to class and they will have already taken notes on them, which I check while they're working on the warm up each day. These are the videos that we recorded during the distance learning portion of COVID. Um, so they cover the content the same way that we did that year. I will still teach the content live at the start of class, but I'll go through it much quicker because the students have already been exposed to the material and they won't have to copy anything down. 
After that, we'll move on to some practice problems, usually on the whiteboards. And then the idea is that towards the end of class, they will have work time to either work on their electronic math excels or potentially watch the videos for the next class. And the idea is that I want the active piece of learning to happen while they are at school and they have support from their classmates and myself as the teacher. And the passive learning would happen at home. And by passive learning, I mean watching a lecture and taking notes. So in a traditional classroom, the passive piece is happening at school. The student is passively writing down information and listening to a teacher, and then they're being active at home without any support. So I'm flipping that so that the passive piece happens at home. You don't need help to copy down notes. And then the active piece, when you're actually doing practice problems and you do need support, you have it in the form of your classmates and myself as your teacher. So that's my goal in using the flipped classroom model. Most of my students ended up loving it by the end of the year last year. Um, so if they're a little hesitant now, encourage them to stick with it because the vast majority ended up loving it. Um, the majority of my classes are AP calculus. So I wanted to talk about my professional goal for the year. Um, my goal for myself is that I will have 90% or more participating in the AP exam and my goal is 100% of those students that take the AP exam will pass. For reference, um, I put up my 2021 results, so last year, and again, that was the first year back in the classroom post-COVID, so I'm confident that I can improve on those um, or that my students will perform even better this year. Um, I'm not gonna read through all my results, but they're here if you wanna take a look. Please make sure you register by October 2nd to avoid any late fees. Um, about mid-September or towards the end of September, I'll be sending out a follow-up email about this, but you should be getting communication from Mr. Jerm regarding um, registration for the AP exam. All right. Um, some contact info if you need it. I put in my phone number and my email address. Email is usually the preferred mode of communication, and then we can set up a phone call if need be. Uh, my classroom is 2414. That's where I always hold my tutorials. Um, I don't use Schoology or Google Classroom. Basically, my website has everything on it. And once they navigate through my website, they'll get to what I call my one-stop shop, uh, which is basically just a document that has links for everything that the students will need in my classroom. They should already know how to find it. Please have them talk to me if they don't. Um, but I don't use Schoology or Google Classroom. Everything is housed on this single website, which the students should know how to access. Please contact me if you have any questions. Um, I look forward to meeting you tonight or working with your student this year. Have a great day.